Hi, I'm Brian Kellerman, the co-founder and chief food safety officer at Kellerman Consulting, and you are watching our video series on a culture of food safety. The purpose of this series is to provide insights on how leadership and key team members can establish and implement a proper culture of safety. In this video, we are first going to set a framework to apply the culture of safety in your operations, and then talk about activities you can perform right away to establish or strengthen that culture today. So first we need to define accountability. Accountability is taking responsibility for actions and interactions in the facility. Accountability occurs when each employee sees their own efforts and actions in the food that is produced or handled in the facility. And also when they recognize the rules of the facility and accept that those rules are important. It is essential that accountability must also apply to the people in charge, which are the leaders, managers, and supervisors. All the rules must apply to everyone and we must make sure that expectations are not ignored when they are inconvenient. Appropriate actions to develop a culture of food safety at the facility all involve accountability. Next, we need to talk about impunity. Impunity is the feeling that rules and consequences don't apply. People frequently confuse freedom with impunity, and these are not the same thing. Freedom is where we have agency to choose to do what we want, and we accept the consequences for those choices. But with impunity, we do what we want and expect that there are no consequences. I think we've all worked with people who act this way, and when we see someone acting like the rules don't apply to them and they get away with it, it is demoralizing. When a supervisor or a leader acts with impunity, they are abusing their authority and can lead to a loss of key workers or even potentially lawsuits. As we set the framework for understanding a culture of food safety, we need to merge the two concepts of the culture, which are accountability and impunity that we have defined in the previous section. As we focus on setting the culture of safety, and establishing our core values, we are trying to foster and increase accountability for food safety, and we are trying to reduce and eliminate the sense of impunity in workers' behavior where it exists. This requires leadership, and management and supervisors all have to do their part. By being vigilant and consistent about growing accountability while tamping down and discouraging impunity, we can build out a strong and sustainable culture of safety in every area of the facility. Remember, the culture of food safety applies to the production areas and the administrative offices. Now we need to talk about setting values. There are many resources to help leaders identify core values, and I recommend looking those up. At Kellerman Consulting, our values are accountability, supportiveness, responsiveness, transparency, honesty, and relentlessness. As leaders of the organization, my brother and I speak about these at least every month, and we check to make sure that we are following these principles at all times. Additionally, we have measurements set up for each of our core values to evaluate ourselves and our employees, and this is what guides our company's decision making. If you haven't determined what your core values are, I would recommend making that a top priority. So with the root concepts of accountability, which we want more of, impunity, which we want to have less of, and core values that we need to set and nurture, the basic framework of a culture of food safety can be set. In our next videos, we will look at the actions and structures we need to keep a culture in place and improve it over time.